Hey Mermico team, today we're diving into an impressive yet delicate species, Camponotus singularis, a giant ant with massive majors that emits a floral scent when threatened. But be warned, keeping this species is far from easy. If you're looking for a real marmicology challenge, you're in the right place. First, let's talk about its remarkable size. The queen measures 21 to 23 millimeters, the workers range from 11 to 16 millimeters, and the majors can reach 22 millimeters. This is one of the most polymorphic species in the Camponotus genus, with striking size and morphological differences between workers. Under the light, its matte black exoskeleton even reveals subtle golden reflections. Behavior-wise, this ant is calm, often slow, almost sluggish, and seemingly fearless when disturbed. But don't be fooled. Its development is extremely slow, especially at the beginning. Mostly nocturnal, it hunts insects both on the ground and in trees. It loves sugary liquids, honeydew, and small insects, and even farms hemipterans to collect their honeydew. In the wild, Camponotus singularis nests inside dead wood, sometimes under bark or even beneath stones. It thrives in humid tropical and subtropical forests, where moisture levels remain high year-round. In captivity, it needs a suitable nest. Aerated, autoclaved concrete AAC, reconstituted stone, or a well-secured tropical terrarium. Now here's the biggest challenge with this species, the foundation stage. It is independent and claustral, but extremely slow and delicate. Often, multiple queens start together, pleometrosis, but eventually only one will dominate. This stage is critical. Even the smallest mistake can lead to failure. Stability is key. Avoid stress, vibrations, and most importantly, be patient. Here's what you need to keep in mind for their care. Temperature. Between 23 and 28 degrees Celsius during the active period with a three-month diapause at 16 to 18 degrees Celsius. Humidity, between 55 and 75 percent, as they are sensitive to fluctuations. Too dry, risk of death, too humid, mold and stress issues. Their colony size is moderate, reaching 1,000 to 1,500 individuals. However, what stands out is how quickly majors appear. Even in the early generations, you'll see these imposing workers with their massive heads emerge. So is this species for you? Honestly. If you're a beginner, look elsewhere. Camponotus singularis is fragile, slow-growing, and highly sensitive to changes. Keeping them requires a lot of experience, precise environmental control, and extreme patience. But if you take on the challenge, they will reward you with incredible observations and a true sense of accomplishment. Let me know in the comments. Does this species interest you or does it seem too complex? And if you're already keeping them, share your experiences. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more amazing ant content. See you soon, Mirmeko team.